We're talking about a simple way how to prove that God exists, uh, how to show that God exists a simple way. Now, you don't even have to go into the Bible, the Quran, Christianity, or Islam, or anything like that, or any kind of arguments for either religion to prove God exists. The simple, the simple way to prove God exists is the universe was created out of nothing. Uh, you know, no space, matter, or time. The entire universe came into existence. Even atheist scientists like Stephen Hawking and the Russian scientist Alexander uh, Velonkin will agree to this. Here's what they say. Here's what Stephen Hawking says. Uh, Stephen Hawking admits that the universe had a beginning. He says almost everyone now believes that the universe and time itself had a beginning at the Big Bang. This is Stephen Hawking. Hawking. Uh, even agnostic scientists admit this, uh, that the universe had a beginning. With the proof, here's what uh, Dr. Alexander Velokin, who is a Russian scientist, says, with the proof now in place, cosmologists, people who study, you know, the universe uh, and the galaxies, etc., can now no longer hide behind the possibility of a past eternal universe. There is now no escape. They have to face the problem of a cosmic beginning. This is Dr. Alexander Vilunkin. Uh Since since that's true that the universe had a beginning, the the universe, the cause of the universe, or the cause of space, time, and matter. Uh, can't be made of space, time, and matter because space, time, and matter were created. So the cause of the universe or the cause of space, matter, and time has to be spaceless, timeless, immaterial, also personal. Why personal? Because to choose to create something is necessary to, to go from a state of nothingness to a state of uh, something, uh, to a state of creation. Only persons can make choices. Impersonal forces don't make choices. So, you know, the universe can't, could not have created itself because all the laws like gravity came after the Big Bang. They didn't predate the Big Bang. Uh, all laws, all, all the laws of science, etc., came after, uni after the universe. They, they didn't pre-exist the universe. So basically, you know, if you're arguing with an atheist or whatever, uh, the simple way to prove God exists is the beginning of the universe, the origin of the universe. Uh, you know, that all science, even Stephen Hawking's and Alexander Velocton, these atheist and agnostic scientists, even they admit that the universe had a beginning, that time, space, and matter had a beginning. If that's the, if that's the case, then the cause of the universe has to be timeless, immaterial, uh, uh, you know, and spaceless, uh, because there was no you know, time, space, and matter before the Big Bang. So that's the simple way how to prove God exists. So this is the, I think this is irrefutable proof that God exists and that the atheists are wrong when they say, you know, there is no proof of God. You don't even have to go to the, you don't even have to go to the Bible, you don't have to go to the Quran in order to prove God existence, God's existence. Simple logic and a little bit of scientific research will confirm that God exists. Stay tuned, more videos refuting um, atheist claims coming up after I refute some of the claims of, you know, some anti-Islamic claims. So more of those videos will be coming up soon. Stay tuned, a lot of good stuff is ahead on this channel.